Oh Yeah, American Movie, the documentary film about a Milwaukee native named Mark Borchard and his quest to finish his short horror film, Coven, or Coven, actually. It's a movie about following your passion in the face of adversity. It's about big dreams in a small town. It's about friendship and perseverance. You don't have to be a filmmaker to relate to its universal themes, but if you are a filmmaker, this is essential viewing. It was an inspiration to me when I was making my first feature film, Schlepp, back in 2015. I know all about the ups and downs of trying to bring a super low budget film to life when you're a nobody. So come on, let's sit back, relax, grab about four pictures at Jim Mitchell's, and let's take a look back at the inspiring story behind American Movie. <music> Director Chris Smith had just wrapped filming on his first movie, American Job. Now he needed a place to assemble all the footage. That place ended up being Milwaukee. He made the trip there from Iowa after showing the head of the film department at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee a rough cut of his movie. The guy loved it and offered Smith full access to his department's editing facilities. Smith lived there for four months while he was cutting the film together. After he was done, he submitted the movie to the Toronto Film Festival, where it was rejected. Feeling jaded and pessimistic, he ran into Mark Borchardt. Right away, Smith was taken by the Milwaukee native's passion for making his upcoming movie, Northwestern. Smith decided he would make a documentary about Borchardt's quest. He also thought it would be cathartic, having just been rejected from the Toronto Film Festival himself. Coincidentally, Mark was about to go to Toronto to raise money for his would-be feature film. Smith decided to start things off by following Borchardt and his parents as they made their journey. The plan was simple. Mark would go to the festival, get near people who looked important, and talk loudly about an elusive $40,000 phantom budget, to which his mother, playing a riveted participant, would simply nod her head in agreement. Someone official would overhear this tense negotiation and swoop in to provide the entire budget he needed. Like I said, simple. And yeah, the plan didn't work. However, the documentary was now officially underway. For the first 10% of the movie, Smith was both cinematographer and sound crew. It wasn't until Roll 13 of film that Sarah Price entered the picture. She took over sound duties and became one half of a two-person crew. The frontman for R.E.M., Michael Stipe, and film director Jim McKay funded the remainder of American Movies' budget. They had a company called C100, and they liked what Smith had done with American Job. However, most of the money Smith and Price received went directly into buying rolls of film. It must have been extremely tough filming all this footage for two years and not being able to see how it was turning out. They were going in blind. In fact, by the time they wrapped production, there was 70 hours of footage and 105 hours of audio captured in total. For two years, Smith and Price followed Mark around as he went from trying to make his first feature film to instead finishing a previous short film he had been making called Coven. He decided it would be faster to complete Coven and sell enough copies of it to cover the cost of Northwestern's budget. In an interview with Chris Smith conducted by the Austin Chronicle, he describes the first year of filmmaking like this. We filmed Mark going to Toronto, Mark doing a radio show, Mark doing these production meetings. It was very much Mark doing something that was in the public eye and us tagging along and filming it. And at the same time, at the beginning of the film, I think you see Mark putting on a show for the people in the meetings and doing his thing. I think once he got to know us after a year, those walls started to come down and I think that's when the film really gets interesting because you start to get the trust that developed between Mark and his family and his friends and us. They really gave us access to these intimate moments that we never would have been able to get had we tried to shoot that way right at the beginning. Throughout the first year of filming, Chris and Sarah got close with Borchart and company. It's a good thing too since the time they spent together creating American Movie would increase tenfold by the second year of the shoot. In that same interview with the Austin Chronicle, Smith talked about the second year in more detail. The second year was almost every day, if not every other day, and we were working 14, 16 hour days. We were spending so much time with Mark and everybody, and I'm so compulsive in the sense of wanting to capture everything, and to do the best you can on a documentary, you should be filming all the time. My only times off were when Mark was sleeping or I knew that he was going to be in front of the word processor thinking things up for 24 hours. All in all, filming ran from September 1995 to August 1997. 
After the film was finished, the movie went on to win the Grand Jury Prize for Documentary at the Sundance Film Festival in 1999. The movie was a hit with critics. More importantly though, it was a hit with aspiring filmmakers all over the country. American Movie is a success story on two different levels. One, Mark Borchardt was endearingly introduced to millions of people, which led to he and Mike Shank being featured in a bunch of film and TV spots, like a Super Bowl commercial, and a cameo on Family Guy. Most recently, Mark made guest appearances on the underrated Adult Swim show, Joe Para Talks With You. This show is a favorite of mine, and it made sense that these two worlds would collide. Kenny Keen even made a brief appearance in the New Year's Eve episode. The second level of success was how Chris Smith and Sarah Price put their passion and persistence into bringing this documentary to life. They gave so much of themselves to American Movie, and by the end, they were spent. Chris Smith swore he would never make another documentary again because it leaves no room for a personal life. That sentiment didn't last too long, though. Smith went on to direct a slew of successful documentaries. He directed Jim and Andy, The Great Beyond, which was about the making of Man on the Moon with Jim Carrey. He also executive produced the hit Netflix docuseries, Tiger King. Sarah Price went on to direct the documentary, Summer Camp, and an episode of the Sex and the City spinoff, The Carrie Diaries. American Movie has touched a lot of filmmakers' lives. This was very apparent in 2022 when Mike Shank sadly passed away at the age of 53. He died on October 14th after a short battle with cancer. Filmmakers like Mark Duplass, Taika Waititi, and Edgar Wright tweeted out their love and appreciation for Mike Shank in the movie. Mark Duplass tweeted, Rest in peace, Mike Shank. Watch him in American Movie and learn how to be a good friend. Taika Waititi tweeted out, Rest in peace, Mike Shank. I didn't know this guy, but man, was he a cool friend. Let's all watch American Movie this weekend. One of the all-time great docs and super inspiring if you love filmmaking and filmmakers. And Edgar Wright tweeted, Rest in peace, Mike Shank. The sweet, funny soul at the heart of the extraordinary doc, American Movie. Me, Simon, and Nick were obsessed with it, and since they included Mike's home number on the DVD extras, we called him from London one night. If you've never seen it, please do immediately. I remember stumbling upon American Movie when I was in the middle of making my first feature film, Schlepp. When I say first feature film, that's not completely true. I've been making movies with family and friends since I was a little kid. Many of them were feature length. However, they were never intended for an audience outside of my hometown. By 2015, I was ready for indie glory. But after failing two out of three times to finish my film, I often found myself watching American Movie for inspiration. It always made me remember why I was doing what I was doing. I thought to myself, if Mark can do it, I can do it. My embarrassing, self-important vanity film started morphing, finally, into a movie that I'm proud of to this day. I stopped trying to make an indie darling and refocused on making a movie for the pure joy of it. If you're curious and need some inspiration, Schlepp is available to watch on my channel. American Movie is about the joy of making movies. All you need is persistence, passion, and peppermint schnapps. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to bust your head through the like and subscribe cabinet. That stuff really helps the channel. See you next time.